Next is the debug. So how to create, how to read it, and how to troubleshoot it. Okay, let me clear this out a little bit. So to clean, to, to create a debug file, you want to create a shortcut of the program you're working on in, which is Open Rights Designer is what I'm demonstrating. So create a shortcut on your desktop. You right click and select properties. And then it opens up to the shortcut. And then on the target, you are going to add the space, the dash sign, and the word debug. And that's all you do. You just add this debug right there. And then you hit OK. And then to launch the debug file, just double click on the icon and it launches the debug. It shows you exactly where it's saved to. So it's saved to a lo uh, temporary location here. And then it automatically opens up the debug file. So you can see this is a very, very large file. But this is basically a much more detailed version of your configuration variables. So when I go to File, Settings, Configuration, Configuration Variables, this doesn't give me a ton of information. It's definitely helpful, but this gives me absolutely everything that I would need to know. Um, so that's how to create it. So how to read it, you can see that these words processing macro file. So as soon as you see one of those words, that means that it's opening a new configuration file. So you can see that the very first CFG that's ever read is this mslocal.cfg. And then if it's indented, you know that this configuration is being opened within this mslocal. So eventually it'll go back to this local configuration when it's done loading the ones contained inside of it. And then after that, it reads through the different variables and it tells you how they're defined within the CFG. So this is what it's going to look like in the CFG. And then within the brackets is what it means. So say there's a variable that defines the folder path. You'll see that here. Um, like, okay, here's a good example. This use station home route, you see it uses a variable to define that folder path. But then here in the brackets, it tells you exactly um, where that is pointing to. And then this shows what level of the configuration. So this is at the system level right here. Um, the word end of macro file, of course. Okay, it's done. It's read all the variables in there. Um, and then if I scroll down to the bottom, we also have, let's see. We have this configuration variable summary. This is going to show every single variable and how it is, it is defined at the very end of reading every single CFG. So that's going to be similar to what I showed you previously, those configuration variables here. That's, it's showing you a very similar thing right here. So let me show you one example of how I use this to, to troubleshoot. So let's say that you're an open roads designer and you're in plans production. You're trying to figure out uh, or you're setting up your sheet seeds for plants production. And there's this variable. Let me do a search to find it. This variable right here. So we'll cross section right to left spacing. You need to adjust this within your workspace. Um, so if you double clicked and changed it here, it would only be saved to your user level. But you need this to be applied across the board. But you're like, oh, goodness, I have no idea which configuration that's within. Um, so I could go through every single configuration file and figure it out, or I could create a debug and just do a word search to find it and figure out which one it's going to be in. So that's what I'll do. So I'll come into this debug, hit control F, type in that variable, this civil underbar cross section underbar to left spacing. I'm at the bottom of the file, so I'm going to search up. I'll hit find next. Okay, so there's, it found the variable right here. 
And so what I need to do is to just scroll up until I see that word processing macro file. Okay, so there's the first word. So I can see that this variable is being defined at the organization level and it's this folder path right here. So I could come in and copy this, open up File Explorer, go to that location, open up that CFG, do a word search, search down. Okay, and look, I found exactly where it is. So for this specific one, we're not in metric, so it's not defining it that, and else, okay, we're imperial, so let's define it here. So then you can come in here and change it without having to um, open every single CFG. So it's nice to help get a, a full picture of what is happening um, within your workspace. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you and see you next time.